Hey, it hasn't been that long at all, and welcome back to FC Analysis. On today's video, I chose to look at an FC that's relatively recent, Gamo's FC of Penger. Why specifically Gamo? If you're unfamiliar with who Gamo is as a player in the community, he was essentially what Shmui is today to the 2009 to 2016 community, that's seven years. An absolute gaming juggernaut that the other top players could only strive to reach at the time. While the community was still deciding whether or not Dark Caves of Lolno was passable by a human, Gamo was going for the 100% FC in the background, and got it 5 months after the first pass. Gamo also got a universe's FC around the same time as Toby, around the same hour actually. There's a lot of things about Gamo that make him a really interesting player to watch, and that was perfectly exemplified most recently by his pop music 7 star grind and the Paradigm Community full game 7 star. Quick advertisement by the way, if you're interested in participating in community full game slash setlist events, consider joining the CH Community Discord server, link will be in the description. Pop music is one of the most technically ridiculous songs in Paradigm, essentially 3 minutes of tap note chord hell, and the 7 star cutoff is so ludicrously tight, more than 2 mistakes before the solo is enough to guarantee a 6 star. Gamma was likely the only person in the community who could have done that accomplishment at the time, and got it done in less than 40 minutes. This is only considering his clone hero skill as well, which isn't even his strong suit, as any of his Guitar Hero 2 or 80s accomplishments would make any of the top rock band players today cry. It's absolutely ludicrous, just look through his channel. But enough about past and current day Gamo, let's zoom in on 2018 Gamo, specifically Penger. The first thing to notice about this entire accomplishment is that the entire thing was performed on an explorer, meaning at most the controller Gamo is using here pulls at 240Hz, over two times slower than Les Paul and World Tour guitars. What does this mean? It means it's two times as bad. He's also holding the controller at the star power activation angle the entire run for optimal activations. Just kidding, though his playstyle is certainly interesting. I talked with him about it at AGDQ, and he said that the main reason is due to his height and the controller sliding around his legs while held in standard position. His solution to this was to learn by holding the controller still with his legs. Not sure why he didn't choose a guitar strap, but who am I to question omnipotence? Penger, in the time that it was unfc'd, was actually pretty much the hottest custom at the time, similar to how Megalodon and Supernovae is now. It was so popular that the FC was so sought for that a player by the name of Hyperbola put a $100 bounty on the first FC of it, so myself and Gamo got to racing. As you can tell by the first ever in the title, I was extremely unsuccessful in that endeavor. So, solo 1 through 2.5, the first main solo of the song. God, look at that pinky go. Most of the main bits of this solo just boil down to basic tapping. It's in sets of 2 and 4 in the main 3 solo, so all tapping is clean and easy. Solo 2.5 is the only weird bit about this solo, if your name isn't Gamo. For some reason it seems like he's doing solo 2 with double one hand inputs. Alright, you go Gamo. For solo 2.5, Gamo's method appears to treat the first two quints of the section as two descending triplets, and the final as a single big fretting input. That breaks the section down into 14 inputs, 12 alt-tapped, and 2 one-hand inputs to end off the section. So solo 3 and 4. This right here is the main reason I wanted to make this video, because just look at it. Look at his hands. Look at how there's like, no ghosting. This is the ideal player. You might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. I just want to take a minute to remind you that this was done on an explorer. Those descending inputs have to be ridiculously crisp to input like that for Solo 4. Here's where the video begins to take a descent into madness though, because Gamo taps like Randy one hands and it freaks me the fuck out. So Solo 5 through 14. Solo 5 starts off normal enough, with 6 ascending fretting inputs with the last one having a pull off quint to input the first portion of the zigs, to turn the last portion of it into 4 inputs. This means the section ends with a fretting input and starts with a fretting input, with very little time in between for error on Explorer. Solo 5.5, Gamo taps the green, red, yellow, orange quads, but one hands the other ones. Quirky, I guess? Though Gamo doesn't even look like he hesitates with the transitions here, even with these funky methods, he just does them. It's like watching a calm river play the button game. Solo 6 through 7 seem mostly unremarkable other than his movements being crazy clean, though Solo 8, he doesn't anchor the chords. Yep, just further steezify the FC, why don't you, you son of a bitch. His method for Solo 9 through 11 is so stupidly complex and mesmerizing, I'm just gonna slow it down and let you watch.
This just goes to show how crazy dedicated these old players are to perfecting accomplishments instead of just getting them like the modern player scene seems to do. Solo 12 is alt-tapped. I'm certain if sliding was as mainstream as it is today, Gamma likely would have found a clean sliding method for this section, but we weren't really aware of the potential of the method in early 2018, nor were we really aware of RAFnets, despite them being public information. Listen, we're slow, okay? Solo 13 and 14 look really cool, but other than that, there's nothing crazy in them, just clean methods. This isn't massively impressive, by the way, but it's worth noting that this guy one-hands Cadence in the first ever Penger FC. The nerve control is insane. Solo 15 through 18. Almost none of 15 is anchored, which just seems unnecessary, but it's how Gamo plays and has played for so long. I don't understand it, but who am I to dictate playstyles? The rest of Solo 16 through both of 17s is about the same bog standard you'd see in any other Panger FC, but Solo 18 also gets the minimal anger treatment in the very fast part specifically, capping off this monumental FC with style points. All I have to say about this FC is, take notes modern community. Sometimes the quality of the accomplishment comes from the performer, not the performance. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the editor Danny and the gamer Gamo. Hopefully it won't take me two years to make the next part in this series. Have a day.